I've got another case for you guys. I have a middle-aged female who presents with three months of altered mental status and progressive neurological decline to the point where about three months ago, she was normal working out. Um, and then in the past few months, she's progressively become bed bound. So this is her CAT scan. She cannot have an MRI due to some uh, medical implants she has. So what's the diagnosis and what workup would you recommend? All right, so let's go over the answers. You guys did a good job. Uh, many of you answered correctly and I'll go through everything for you. This is her CT and this is a CT of a normal brain. So in a regular brain scan, this is the skull. All this gray stuff in here is the brain tissue and the black, these little black things in here are all the spinal fluid. So here in her scan, you see that these black spaces are extremely large as compared to what should be normal. And you see this gray kind of fluid here, which is called transependymal flow, which is a sign of hydrocephalus. Some of you got a little distracted by the streak artifact here, which is just the metallic implants uh, that I stated was a reason why she couldn't have the MRI scan. So the diagnosis is hydrocephalus. Um, she had a lumbar puncture that showed an elevated pressure. Uh, she had some spinal fluid off and transiently improved in her mental status. She had an extensive neurological workup to test for other alternative causes, such as some of the ones that you guys suggested, and her entire workup was negative. So she was sent to me at, uh, for evaluation of a possible shunt. We couldn't do an MRI to work up, as I mentioned, because she couldn't have one. Um, so I elected to just shunt her based on her imaging findings and her pressure in her brain was 45. A normal pressure should be under 15, 15 to 20 definitely. So her pressure was tremendously elevated when we did the shunt. Uh, we placed the shunt and within three days she began talking again and is now undergoing rehab treatments and hopefully will return back to her normal state. Hydrocephalus is a condition where the pressure builds up on the brain and can, and can cause altered mental status. It can cause gait problems. It can cause de early dementia. It can cause urinary incontinence and a variety of other things. She also had a cisternogram that was performed that confirmed the hydrocephalus. Also, her pressure was elevated. Therefore, it is not normal pressure hydrocephalus. She has some type of idiopathic or unknown reason for her hydrocephalus, so that's the answer. This is a ventricular peritoneal shunt, which is what this patient underwent. And basically, a VP shunt is a tube that goes into the brain, into that fluid space, and drains through a valve that controls the pressure of that strain. And we tunnel this tube under the skin into the abdomen, where all the fluid will drain into the abdomen and be absorbed. Therefore, the patient will have normal return of the normal pressures within the brain. Hope you guys learned something. Comment on what you want me to go over next week, and we'll do another case.